There are so many mods of 3D printers have made. Perhaps that's just the general idea behind 3D printing, making something better than it is. We've seen auto levelers made of cheap servo motors, DIY extruders, Z timing belts. And time and time again, these have found their way to popular manufacturers and have stuck. I mean, just look at the BL Touch. All it is is a servo motor and a switch. Or the filament sensor. All it is is an end stop in its basic design. My point is that these are simple devices that have changed the way we are printing and have offered up new possibilities. So I'm hoping this next project will too, and perhaps the chief evangelists at Creality are listening. We're going to modify this Ender 3 by tripling its build volume with just a couple of modifications. We're going to raise the Z height to a whopping 1 meter. This is a simple build, really simple, like bordering on stupidity maybe. Why are we doing this you may ask? Well, because we can. Also, it's pretty cool that we have a printer dedicated to VAS mode. So, in addition to the Z height extension, we're also going to put an all metal hot end on it and a massive nozzle. Get some crazy huge layers pumping out. We're going to remove the top profile, then the X axis assembly, and the vertical profiles and everything else attached to it. Then we put on two new longer vertical profiles, two new longer lead screws, and an extra motor. Then the x-axis assembly, the original top profile, add extension cables for the extra height, add a new hot end, a BL touch, and finally a new main board that we can alter the firmware easily. New Enders have a 4.2.2 board, but this is a dinosaur. It has a 114 board, 8-bit, no boot loader, A4988 stepper drivers. Sounds like a heavy smoker. Anyway, it, it might loosen the screws on the bottom and cause vibrations, and, and vibrations are not good for print quality. You might see with a lot of large format 3D printers these days that they have a diagonal support to make the frame a lot more rigid. The CR10V3 has this option. We may also need to include ball bearings on each side for the lead screws so they're kept in place and prevent any stability problems like a wobbly screw or jangly axis or floppy extrusions. That all sounded so weird. You there, sir! You look like a man who has problems with his jangly axis! Alright, let's get to work. Our vertical profiles and we need to tap the ends for the screws to fit in here. FYI, depending on what aluminium profiles you use, you may or may not need to tap the profiles. Some come with a tapped M5 center hole and some just smooth pores, but I love tapping anyway. It's very satisfying. <laughs> So we said we we're going to add a new all metal hot end. This is the guy. This is the Fetus BMS. Same size as the stock Creality hot end, the one you get on Ender 3s, Pros, 5s, 6s. Exact same kind. Don't need to change anything. Don't need to change the housing, the fans, the heating cartridge, the thermistor, nothing. You can just put it on. It has an adapter for the thermistor, which is really useful. 
Um, the great thing about this is that it has a copper heating block, so better thermal conductivity, but it also has a bimetallic heat break, so it has copper on each end, tends to increase the conductivity of the lower end where the hot end is, and in the heatsink end, it kind of tends to dissipate the heat better. So you have a sharper uh, differential between the hot side and the cold side of the hot end, really awesome. So what I'm really excited about are these Bontech CHT nozzles. Now, if you've never heard of CHT nozzles before, then welcome to the party. These are nickel plated brass, pretty normal, but on the inside there are three drilled holes and this allows the filament to melt way faster. It's melting from the inside out. Because of that, the flow is way higher and because of that, you can have these ridiculously huge pore sizes. This is a 1.8 millimeter nozzle. That's bigger than the filament that we're putting in. It's insane. Back in the old days, we had a 0.8 millimeter brass nozzle and then maybe if we're adventures, a cordless drill. That worked out fine, didn't it? But anyway, now we have these and they're fantastic. What does CHT stand for? I uh, actually don't know. We'll look into it. Okay, and next we have our 3D Jake Flex Plate. This is a PEI magnetic bed, comes in two parts. Magnetic base, upper surface. Upper surface is a finely structured surface, and it is double-sided, of course. And we have the magnetic base, which has the adhesive backing on one side, but because this Ender 3 Pro already has a magnetic base, we can actually just put this on. No need to worry about putting on another one. And it's lovely. Brilliant. Lastly, what we're going to do is upgrade the main board, because it's kind of difficult to edit the firmware on the original board it's so old there's no bootloader so you need to install a bootloader and it's complicated let's not do that so this is the skr mini e3 version 3 and it is the best choice for a upgrade of an ender because it's the same size as the original board and the screw positions are in the same position so you don't need to edit anything no mount no nothing but this is fantastic i'm really excited about doing this Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Ender Z. My apologies to everyone speaking British English. I have to say Ender Z, as in the American, because it just doesn't rhyme with Ender 3, Ender, Ender Z, Ender Z, Ender 3. Now, this is marketing, pay attention. I'm certain this is the tallest thing that I've ever printed. It looks amazing. And the color is awesome too. This is our ultra satin filament. If you want something with a super satin shine, we've got you covered. This thing can print everything, like from vases to baseball bats, um, ligatures of very blanky people, stretched out benches, things that would get this video demonetized. Feel free to leave a comment below and tell us what you think. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to find a really tall plant. CHT. 
Core Heating Technology. It stands for, for Core Heating Technology.